Okay, we're just past the two mile marker here and um, the it's we're at 11.20 in the race. Um, we're waiting on signs of the first runners. We, and we just go by the two miles left right at 11 30 now thompson the freshman from montgomery yeah. now pushing that pace a bit but we uh camp Orlando is still right in there in the fourth hole here they come there's a group of them right at the front you're like finish line. Hi. And our defending champion has moved up into our good group of three. We've got four now. And it continues to be fast in the freshman from Montgomery pushing the pace. And now Riley Chamberlain of Del Oro. My help to see. Yeah, she oh, looked really strong. Did you see how did you see how strong she was looking? Oh, oh this is good. When I when I she was when she passed us down here, she's in the end of the Cowboys. So. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. We passed cool. her a little after that. Uh -huh. I did that. She's doing yeah. so stay with me. She looked really strong. Yeah. 
so did we. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And if she didn't hear us, then like, yeah. She was in the zone, though. I have to admit. She was Wait, that's, that's good. Yeah. All right, that first runner is probably going to be coming in any minute now because they'll be about 17 minutes. It's been warm out for two hours. Awesome, trying to move out a little bit, coming out of the Christmas tree. It's like coming in with you. Uh, I think the first one should be about there you go. I don't know. We're at 1643. Hannah was first. What? Hannah was first. She's top two or second, I think. Ashley was first. Well, no, no, our team overall. Hannah from Oh, okay. So I guess Ethan. North Coast. Yeah, she was second. We saw her. She was second. She was third. Yeah. Is there this same position? Yeah, but I think it might push Jenner a bit more. Ashley! Ashley! Ashley!
finish your OB. And our dynamic scoring looks pretty solid here as we go. Looks like Campolindo at the holds will defend the championship. Right now we've got Campolindo at 90. Del Oro, what a great last mile. Del Oro, 98. Cathedral Catholic at 125. Mathias at 133, Kyle Cody at 138, Kyle Cody at 164, Padilla Cabrillo 189, South Pass 212, and Oak Park 220. But the things continue to stay at the point switch. It looks like Campolindo will win another Division Three State Championship. Will be their sixth championship. Sixteenth from Chester. And the Division 4 girls in lane 1A and B, the 73rd individual qualifiers from their sections. Angelina Vasquez, a junior from Barstow, 9th in the southern section. Alana Godfrey and Mary Mount was 10th. Renee Searles, a sophomore from Alhambra, Martinez, 3rd in the north coast. Ellie Black from Piedmont, 4th in the north coast. Team in lane 2A is La Cañada. They were second in the See? southern section. Third here in 2017. Third in the Mount Sack, between the 345 Team Street State. They're led by Ariel McKenzie and Caitlin Monterey. So South Florida, who were 2-6 in the southern section. Lane 2B, second place team in the North Coast. St. Mary's College of Berkeley. Second in the Phil Wilder Mariner Small Division. Third in the Clovis Small. Lane 3A, wow. seventh in the Southern yeah, Section, see, yeah. Bishop Ahmad of La Puente. They were in the top six, five years in a row, 2016 to 2017. They won the Rough Riders right Small School Division and the Mount Sack E4 Yellow Wing. Top individual, Emma Arredondo, she is the Mount Sack Yellow Wing champion. Lane 3B, third in the North Coast, Akalanas of Lafayette. They first state meet since 2012. We're led by the fine sophomore Olivia Williams, the North Coast section winner, okay. yes. a very quick 16 15 2 on the Hayward Court. Lane 4A, the Central Section Champions, Santa Maria. Lane 4B, third of the second. That's the team, end of the seven, girls' state race. Dos Pueblos Lane unofficially five, eight, in 16th place. Seven, 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 four, seven, four, seven, four, Great job, great season, amazing for both those bubbles teams.